Hello students. We have finally completed all seven principles of art and design. For today's final project, we are going to review everything we have learned by creating a principle of design booklet. You will be creating a chart or booklet of your choice that will show all seven principles of art from your point of view. Let's begin. For today's project, you will be needing a blank sheet of paper, a pencil, black marker, a good eraser, and coloring utensils of your choice. Here I used colored pencils. First, follow along with me and fold your paper into eight sections as I do here. It's just as we folded once before when we created the seven elements of art booklet. Fold in half lengthwise, then fold in half once more in the opposite direction. Open it up and fold each end toward the middle crease. I fold both ways to make good creases. When you open it up, you will see eight rectangle sections. Fold it in half once more lengthwise and number each section in the corner one through four. We are going to label each section with the first four principles. Number one, pattern. Number two, rhythm and movement. Number three, balance. And number four, variety. You can label everything in pencil and then go over it in marker or write everything directly in marker. The choice is yours. Turn the paper over, and where you have variety written on the other side, begin to label number five, then six, then seven, and the last rectangle will be the title page, the seven principles of art. Number five will be titled Proportion. Number six, Contrast and Emphasis. And the last principle will be Unity. This is what your paper should look like when it is opened up. Notice how numbers 1 through 4 are facing 5 through 7 in the opposite direction. Pause the video here when your titles are traced in marker. When you are ready for the next step, press play.
Next, I will be showing drawings for each section that represent the category. Feel free to draw whatever you like to show how you interpret the principles of art and design. I drew everything in marker, but if you need to use pencil, please feel free. I did make a couple mistakes along the way, but was able to incorporate them into my art. So if you do draw directly in marker, just be careful. You could also color first and then create details later in marker, the choice is yours. If you do decide to color first, make it colorful and make it detailed. Take your time to reflect on the past projects we did together to better understand each principle. Here in the pattern section, I used a repeating pattern of geometric and organic shapes. I also repeated a pattern of colors. I drew a tree and two stick figures to represent rhythm and movement. The tree shows movement with how I drew its branches and curled lines on the edge of the branches to show wind. The stick figures show movement with how I drew lines near their hands and feet. For balance, I created a mirrored reverse abstract image. For variety, I drew a group of produce Notice how there's only one vegetable and the rest are fruits. You could also draw this for the section contrast and emphasis with the emphasis being on the corn. For proportion, you could draw the balanced proportions of a face, but I decided to show exaggerated proportion by drawing a large flower next to a very small tree.
For contrast and emphasis, I'm going to play with color. One of these circles is going to be a bright red ball in the middle of a bunch of gray circles to really stand out. And last but not least, unity. For unity, I show a theme in the subject, and each stick figure has a unified size and shape. Take time to make your title cover decorative, like the cover page of a book. Pause the video here while you finish creating a drawing for each principle of design. When you are ready to color, press play. Now it is time to bring your booklet to life. Make it really colorful. Do not leave anything blank. It did take me some time to color everything. But here I show you a very quick time lapse. Off camera, I colored over everything once more to give the colors a bolder look. While we are coloring together, let's take a trip down memory lane and reflect on all the artwork Upper Elementary did together this past year.
upper elementary, I am so very grateful for the opportunities I had to see some of your artwork when we had remote learning. Thank you also to the students who emailed me their masterpieces. It was really awesome to see your interpretations of each lesson and how your creativity really enhanced throughout the year. I hope you had as much fun as I had, and I'm so thankful for the experience. Creating this art for you was very fun and therapeutic. Now you have two mini booklets to look back on our time together. If you continue creating art, keep these booklets whenever you need inspiration. I like how small and compact these are. You can keep them with your drawing utensils. Remember, the more combinations of elements and principles you use will enhance your artwork in so many ways. The possibilities are endless. Thank you once again for making art with me this past year. It has been a great privilege. Until next time, take care and stay creative.